the prominent thing about any launch vehicle how many stages what kind of fuel composition is there how high it can go and so after slb3 the third uh, the first aspect was sounding rockets in the development of india's launch vehicle program then came slb3 and now is the turn of the third uh, you can say third step and that's what isro termed it aslv that is augmented satellite launch vehicle augmented satellite launch vehicle that was the third step aslv again the prominent thing about any launch vehicle how many stages what kind of uh, fuel uh, composition is there how high it can go and with how much payload with what payload it can carry so all these aspects you need to know about any launch vehicle and if there is any particular technological uh, you can say innovation which is being put up that's also something which we can we should be able to uh, understand so this aslb augmented satellite launch vehicle it basically the lift off weight for this launch vehicle was 40 tons 24 meter tall height and slb3 was four four stage rocket but aslb was a five stage rocket so one extra stage was added slb3 four stage and an extra stage is added and it becomes aslb five stage rocket and all the stages all the five stages were using solid fuel so technically it is nothing different to offer than slb3 because liquid fuel we have not yet seen slb3 was also based on solid fuel there were four stages you have added one extra stage obviously that will give you some more thrust if there is an extra stage after fourth stage there is a fifth stage so obviously it will key it will move your launch vehicle to some more height but there was no innovation and that's why aslb augmented satellite launch vehicle it was it, it isn't considered a really as any sort of success in launch vehicle program but at that point of time, India was suffering from that limitation that we were not able to get to that next level. After a very long wait, SLB launch vehicle was not moving forward. So ISRO came up with ASLB with this first fifth stage. Okay, And through this maneuver, through adding this fifth stage, overall, ISRO, India, they were able to successfully launch a 150 kilogram payload 150 kilogram payload to the leo that is lower earth orbit that was the only improvement okay so in this say 400 500 kilometer high orbit orbit at around 400 to 500 kilometers from surface of earth uh, you were able to uh, put a 150 kilogram satellite in such low earth orbit that's all aslv was able to uh, produce and it wasn't considered a great success which i've already told so this aslv program was designed to augment the payload capacity that's why the name augmented satellite launch vehicle but this augmentation was not very uh, you can say very uh, something 
uh, which can be considered a great success from say 40 50 kilograms of payload obviously you have uh, tripled the payload capacity but uh, still uh, you were not able to cross leo uh, and uh, the technology wise also dependency on solid fuel it wasn't considered a great achievement but definitely the payload capacity it becomes thrice that of slb3 and that was some some sort of respite for isro but while building upon the experience gained from slb3 missions aslb proved to be a low cost intermediate vehicle that's uh, something which you can quote as success of this stage. So, ASLB proved to be a low cost intermediate vehicle, intermediate vehicle to demonstrate. and validate to demonstrate and validate critical technologies that would be needed that would be needed for the future launch vehicles and we can name few of such technologies like a strap on technology strap on technology and inertial navigation technology inertial navigation technology etc so these were somewhat the the emerging and the pioneer technologies at that point of time so uh, definitely aslb helped isro and other space research agencies to gear up for developing such futuristic technologies like strap on and inertial navigation that's also something uh, which we can claim that uh, through this development of ASLB, definitely India, the space research agencies, they have achieved some sort of insight about these technologies. So that's how.